If you're seeking aid, leave your name with my girl. We serve everyone here. No one came from Ferelden without trouble. But I can't give priority to anyone who's already found work and lodging. Is there a way I can assist these people? If you've coin to spare, we won't turn it down. Donations go in the box up front. Anything else? I hear you know where I can find a Ferelden Grey Warden. Only Ferelden Grey Warden I've heard of slew the Archdemon to save us all. Fat lot they care here. We're out of the Blight's path now. Why would you need a Warden? The Healer was one of them once, wasn't he? A Warden? Well, he's not now, and busy enough without answering fool questions about it. Who are you protecting? You see what our people face in Kirkwall. They have no jobs, no homes. Most can barely buy bread. This healer, he serves them without thought for coin. He's closed their wounds, delivered their children. And yet he needs to hide. He's a good man. I won't lose him to the blighted Templars. You mean he's a mage? Would I stick my neck out for some purveyor of hensbane and leeches? Oh, perish the thought. Another delicate mage flower. He doesn't want to be locked in the gallows just for using the gifts the Maker gave him. I can hardly blame him. I suppose it isn't my secret to keep. Anders has certainly been free enough with his services. Refugees in Darktown know to find the healer, look for the lit lantern. If you have need enough, Anders will be within. made this place a sanctum of healing and salvation. Why do you threaten it? Strange occupation for a warden. Aren't you more about taint and death, not healing and salvation? Did the warden send you to bring me back? I'm not going. Those bastards made me get rid of my cat. Poor Sir Pouncelot. He hated the Deep Roads. You had a cat named Sir Pouncelot in the Deep Roads? He was a gift. A noble beast. Almost got ripped in half by a Genlock once. He swatted the bugger on the nose. Drew blood, too. The blighted warden said he made me too soft. I had to give him to a friend in Amaranthine. I've always heard that joining the wardens is for life. That's only partly true. The hopelessly tainted by the Darkspawn and plagued by nightmares about the Archdemon parts don't go away. But it turns out, if you hide well, you don't have to wear the uniform or go to the parties. So, you came to Kirkwall just to escape the Wardens? You say that like it's a small thing. Yes. I'm here because there's no Warden outpost, no Darkspawn, and a whole host of refugees to blend in with. And some reasons of my own. I'm part of an expedition into the Deep Roads. Any information you have could save people's lives. I will die a happy man if I never think about the blighted deep roads again. You can't imagine what I've come through to get here. I'm not interested in... Although... A favor for a favor. Does that sound like a fair deal? You help me, I'll help you. Let's be more specific. I don't do anything involving children or animals. I have a warden map of the depths in this area. But there's a price. I came to Kirkwall to aid a friend, a mage, a prisoner in the wretched gallows. The Templars learned of my plans to free him. Help me bring him safely past them, and you shall have your maps. Tell me about your friend. His name is Carl Thekla. He was sent here from Ferelden, when Kirkwall's circle required new talent. His last letter said the Knight Commander was turning the circle into a prison. Mages are locked in their cells refused appearances at court, made tranquil for the slightest crimes. I told him I would come. Are these accusations true? Ask any mage in Kirkwall. 
Over a dozen were made tranquil just this year. The more people you ask, the worse the rumors become. How do you plan to break him out of the gallows? I'm hoping it won't come to that. I sent Carl a message to meet me in the Chantry tonight. Make her willing, he'll be there, alone. But if there are Templars with him, I swear I'll free him from them, whatever the cost. What do the Templars know of your plans? I don't know. I had been exchanging notes with Carl through a maidservant in the gallows. Then the letters stopped coming. You want to make your friend an apostate? That's such a weighted term. Yes, Andraste said magic should serve man, not rule him. But I've yet to find a mage who wants to rule anything. It goes against no will of the Maker for mages to live as free as other men. I doubt the Divine would agree with that. The Divine is only a mouthpiece for the Chantry. The Maker does not speak through her. He doesn't speak through you, either. Never mind. I do not seek debate. Only your aid. I'm not sure about attacking Templars. I might rather take my chances with the Darkspawn. If we fight the Templars, it is because they decide that anyone who befriends a mage deserves death without questioning. These are my terms. If you want my aid with your expedition, meet me in the Chantry tonight. I have sent word to Carl to be there. Make her willing, we will all leave free men. I saw Carl go inside a few minutes ago. No Templars so far. Are you ready? I didn't see anyone suspicious out here. Let's do this fast. All right. I'll handle the talking. You watch for Templars. Anders, I know you too well. I knew you would never give up. What's wrong? Why are you talking like... I was too rebellious, like you. The Templars knew I had to be... made an example of. No! How else will mages ever master themselves? You'll understand, Anders. As soon as the Templars teach you to control yourself... This is the apostate. No! You will never take another mage as you took him! I... Anders, what did you do? It's like... You brought a piece of the Fade into this world. I had already forgotten what that feels like. What did you do? N not the Fade part. The angry glowing bit. It's like a gateway to the Fade inside you, glowing like a beacon. I have some unique circumstances, yes. But Carl, what happened? How did they get you? The Templars here are far more vigilant than in Ferelden. They found a letter I was writing you. You cannot imagine it, Anders. All the color, all the music in the world, gone. I would gladly give up my magic. But this... I'll never be whole again. Please, kill me before I forget again. I don't know how you brought it back, but it's fading. Carl, no. Maybe we can find a cure. Can you cure a beheading? The dreams of tranquil mages are severed. There is nothing left of them to fix. I would rather die a mage than live as a Templar puppet. I would rather die than be tranquil. Help him. I got here too late. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm so sorry. Now! It's fading! Why do you look at me like that? Goodbye. <laughs> We should leave before more Templars come. So, let me guess. This is the part where you tell me you're an abomination. You're wrong. But not far wrong. I... This is hard to explain. When I was in Amaranthine, I met a spirit of justice who was trapped outside the Fade. We became friends. And he recognized the injustice that mages in Thedas face every day. And that's... Different than a demon. Just as demons prey on the deadly sins of mankind, there are good spirits who embody our virtues. Spirits of compassion, fortitude, justice. They are the Maker's first children, and they have all but given up on us. What does this have to do with your eyes glowing? To live outside the Fade, 
He needed a host. I offered to help him. We were going to work together, bring justice to every child ever ripped away from his mother to be sent to the Circle. But I guess I had too much anger. Once he was inside me, he changed. So you have this spirit of justice living in your head? It's not like that. He's gone now. He's part of me. It's not like we can have a conversation. I feel his thoughts as my own. Not even the greatest scholar could tell you where I end and he begins. This is obviously difficult for you. For him? We'll be hunted for sure now. I thought I was helping my friend. He would have died, I guess. If that even means anything. And he wanted to help me. He knew what mages have suffered. But my anger, when I see Templars now, things that have always outraged me, but I could never do anything about, he comes out. And he is no longer my friend Justice. He is a force of vengeance, and he has no grasp of mercy. Can Justice ever be separated from you? I don't think so. The only way a spirit has ever been separated from a living host is by its death. The curses of my own making. All I can do now is hope to control it. Can you bring him out at will? No. He comes only when I've lost all power over myself. It's a madness. A frenzy. I only find out after what I might have done. So that explains your whole sexy, tortured look. Perhaps I should check a looking glass more often. I've rarely met a man who says such things so openly. But you're obviously a rare man. My maps are yours. As am I if you wish me to join your expedition. I thought I was done with the Grey Wardens. But if you have any need of me, I will be waiting here. Is it true you give aid to apostates fleeing the Templars? The mages are help. They're no more than children, newly discovered their magic and terrified. Barely left their mother's skirts, and now we're saying they got to be locked away for their own good. That demons are hunting them. Do you wonder they run? Did you meet the boy? Afraid so. Blighter was dead broke though, not a silver on him. I help one mageling for free, and I'll never get paid again. I pity any mage who is forced to rely on you for protection. I appointed him to a ship captain I know, Rainer. Sometimes he'll take on runaways. Took another apostate last week, girl I sent him. Might have gone wrong though. I heard rumors he took the both of them captive instead. If Fainreel's not in one piece when I find him, I'm coming after you next. I'm here to help you, Fainreel. Why? You don't even know me. I am you. I guess you are. Would... Is there any chance you'd help me reach the Dalish? That's where I was trying to go. See if they'd take me in. I'm as much Dalish as human. Elf. Human. The only thing that matters is the demons. Look, I'm not completely ignorant. I know why they lock mages up. I, I've heard the demons whispering. But the Dalish, they've been working magic well before humans were in these lands. Surely the Keeper can train my magic as well as a bunch of Templars. Keeper trains him, keeps him safe from demons. No one gets locked up. Sounds like a winning plan. Because no Dalish mage ever went astray. I've heard about the Circle of Magi outside of the Imperium, but I've never been in one. Are you certain it's wise for you to be here? It would help if you didn't ask questions like that. I could throw a fireball or two. Maybe that would help. Probably not. Blood magic is everywhere in Tevinter. From the lowliest apprentice up to the Archon himself. You can't have seen this for yourself. <laughs> Daenerys talked about it often. Of course they say it's forbidden. Behind the smiles and closed doors, however, it's a different matter. To be a Magister in Tevinter is to be glorious. To be a powerful Magister in Tevinter, that is worth any price. You're saying the same thing could happen here? If the mages were permitted to be their own watchers, of course. It is too easy for a mage to resort to blood magic if they feel the need is great enough. 
As easy as it is to resort to a sword, you were created as a living weapon. Should you not be trusted with your freedom? My powers are not controlled by a demon. A mage can desire power, justice, revenge, protection. Any cause will do, and then they are lost. You're saying that locking mages up is better? All I am saying is the Imperium offers no answer. All that Andraste did long ago to end the tyranny of magic has been undone. She ended the tyranny of magic and replaced it with an entirely new one. Considering all that magic has done to my homeland and my race, I weep for your predicament. I had a friend like you once. Got in all kinds of trouble. Dragged me along. Didn't think I'd be doing that again. I got a bit weighty the last time we talked. Sorry for putting that on you. You'd be surprised how people just tell me their darkest secrets. I must look trustworthy. You look... something. True. Proud. Like even if you don't agree with me, you'll be honest. I just... I hope I didn't seem too selfish when I told you about justice. I didn't know what would happen. I figured a willing host, a friend. It had to be better than playing the demon and haunting some corpse. Well, he can't complain about his looks anyway. Growing up in the Circle, everything is about order and rules and the Templars. The Apprentices, we found ways to make that bearable. Carl and I, he was the first. We could forget that, out in the world, we were nothing but Templar slaves. We hadn't been together for a long time. But still, it hurt. You... and Carl? I've always believed people fall in love with a whole person, not just a body. Why would you shy away from loving someone just because they're like you? Does it bother you that I've been with men? I'm just glad it didn't take me any longer to find out. It's hard to believe Carl is dead. And at my hand. Damn the Templars! I should have come to Kirkwall sooner. No one should have to go through that. It's the bloody Templars. You know how it is. They don't see us as people. They don't care that Carl was someone's son. Someone's lover. If you're born with magic, they hear about it. They search your little rat's bit village and find you. They tell your parents they'll be thrown in prison if they ever ask about you. Stripped of their rights in the eyes of the Maker. And if you run away, they hunt you down. Again, and again, and again. You're starting to glow again. And since yours is the only head here, and I don't want to rip it off, I should stop. Yes. Sorry. Besides, we have so much to do before the Deep Roads. Next time, I'll try to keep to more... pleasant topics. Is it... is it over? Karen. Yes, that's my name. Oh, thank the Maker. I thought he had abandoned me. But is it only Karen? It could be Karen plus one. A very nasty plus one at that. The cage has opened. Thank Andraste. What do you remember about how you got here? I... I was with a lady. And then things got fuzzy. Nightmares, then. On fire for days. A demon laughing. The naked lady with her razor claws in my chest. I'd wake and hear screams. Maybe my own. I'm sorry. It's all a tangle in my head. Any chance you can tell if Karen has an extra passenger? Well, there's one sure way. Ugh! What was that about? If there was a demon in there, it would have defended itself. Looks like he's clear. Go ahead and leave, Karen. You've been through enough. Don't tell the Templars. I... I don't know what they do to me. Please. I need to go back. Tell them I'm alright. Tell my sister. I... I must go. When you talk to Sir Cullen, maybe downplay the blood magic angle. We don't need the Templars cracking down even harder.
For all their blasphemous certainty, the Kunari do have deserters. Those who seek freedom are hunted mercilessly. Talvashoth. They seem to accept the role. Even their rebels conform. Savonel observed one of their bloody exchanges. This poor mage was the only survivor. And you think this mage was being hunted? I am certain no thinking creature would willingly submit to this. If he was not running before, he has seized the opportunity now. I can get him out of Kirkwall. He's a bit conspicuous for the streets, though. I had never thought about the plight of mages among the Canari. But it seems they are even more oppressed than we are. Arvarad couldn't kill me. Perhaps he was wrong about your death, too. Losing to you does not make him wrong. He spoke the Kune. I have chosen. It is bred in the bone. Existing is not a choice. It is the only choice. As it tell Eb, it is to be. Could you have returned if I'd let these others live? No. You were doomed from the start. I was outside my Keratom. I may be corrupted. I cannot know. How I return is my choice. Of all the ridiculous, spineless, mind-controlled, senseless piece of shit arguments I've ever heard! What comfort has freedom brought you, mage? You would have more if you submitted to the Kune. Now we just need a decent entrance into the Deep Roads. These might be just what we need. What's this? Three? Four entrances into the Deep Roads, all in the free marches? Where'd you get these? A wizard did it. Well, color me astounded. We just pick the most promising one, and go! <laughs> Problems, brother? Starting deep roads? Who knows how long it'll take to clear the path? Shall we not try to find a way around instead? Seems like the logical choice. You think I'm an idiot, Farrakh? The scouts say the side passages are too dangerous. See? This is why you bring someone like me along. We'll take a look. If we come running back, screaming, you'll know staying put was the right decision. Fine, fine! Find a way around. Just do it quickly. This is why I left the Wardens. I hate the blighted Deep Roads. You see what I'm seeing? Is that... Lyrium? It's definitely magic. And not the good kind. Doesn't look like any kind of lyrium I've ever seen. Enough! You have proven your mettle. I would not see these creatures harmed without need. We're defending ourselves. Keep your distance. They will not assault you further, not without my permission. What are these things? They seem like rock wraiths, but... They hunger. Profane have lingered in this place for ages, beyond memory, feeding on the magic stones until the need is all they know. They eat the lyrium. Sounds like a healthy diet. I am not as they are. I am... a visitor. It seems mostly interested in their hunger. It's a demon, come to feed. I would not see my feast End. I sense your desire. You seek to leave this place, but you will need my aid to do so. Don't do it. Demons will trip you up every time. Could be a way out of here. I don't know. What are our options? Why do we need your aid to leave? There is another door that leads into the paths far above us. That is what you seek. It has been sealed, however, and cannot be opened without a key. I know where the key is. Do as I ask, and I shall tell you. Hmm. So what do you think? I'm not becoming that thing's next meal. Most unwise. This part of the Deep Roads looks familiar. We're back where we started. And in only five days. Not bad, eh? Think we could... 
Take a break. I feel wrong. I think all our stomachs are a bit tender right now. <laughs> I'll wager it was those deep mushrooms we found. No. It's... Carver! It's the Blight. I can sense it. Just like that Templar, Wesley. I'll be just as dead. Just as gone. I'm not going to let that happen. I'm not going to make it. Not to the surface. Not anywhere. It's getting worse. There might be something we can do. I stole the maps from a warden that had come to Kirkwall. I wanted to know if he was looking for me. He wasn't. The maps were for planning their own expedition into the Deep Roads. Does that mean the Grey Wardens are here? If the Wardens are here, I know where. We could bring Carver to them. And what? Become a Grey Warden? Is becoming a Grey Warden a cure? Yes, I suppose it is. But it's not without a price. One not everyone is willing to pay. What price? Maker's breath, spit it out! The process of becoming a Warden is... unpleasant. And irreversible. It also means you might never see your brother again. He might survive the Blight, but at the cost of becoming a Grey Warden. It's not an easy life, trust me. What about you? You're not a Grey Warden anymore. You think I got away? Eventually they or the Circle will drag me back. I've got no illusions about that. Is this even possible? How does someone become a Grey Warden? I can't tell you. But it's not something you can undo once it's done. Even if you want to. This just keeps sounding better and better. They might agree to it, however. That's if we can find them in time. I don't see any better options. Then I hope I'm right. Hmm. What's wrong? I think they're nearby. Or it could be Darkspawn. Anders. Fancy meeting you here, Stroud. I could say the same. I thought you were through fighting Darkspawn. I'm not here to fight Darkspawn. I came looking for you. You mean, the boy as a recruit? Of course you do. I'm sorry. I know this comes as no comfort to you, but we do not recruit Grey Wardens out of pity. It is no kindness. Carver happens to be a fine warrior. You'd be an idiot not to recruit him. Be that as it may, I cannot. Stroud, trust me when I say this one is worth your time. With the blight over, you Wardens don't have recruits lining up. This is no simple thing, Anders. This may be as much a death sentence as the sickness, and you know it. He'll die anyway. Take him and try. I'm asking you. If the boy comes, he comes now, and you may not see him again. Being a Grey Warden is not a cure. It is a calling. Are you sure about this? If this is the only way you can live, then it has to be. We must move quickly, if we are to make the surface in time. Then... I guess this is it. Take care of Mother. Home sweet home. Finally. Oh, I wonder if Bartran came back to the city. You think I'd be that lucky? Just make sure you let me know when you find him. Trust me, you'll be the first to know. I'm sorry about what happened to your brother. He'll make it. Carver's stronger than he thinks. I should have seen Bartran's betrayal coming. I'll find that maggot if it's the last thing I do. I imagine you'll be heading home to, uh, tell the family. 
I don't have much choice. You'll be a wealthy man, Hawk. It wasn't all for nothing. Don't come running to me next time you pick up one of these diseases. Isn't that the point of magic? I don't want to know. Things just keep getting worse. I had Templars practically on my doorstep the other night. The Templars are hunting you? Not me specifically. They were just checking the refugee camps. But it's not like this place is a secret. It's only a matter of time. I can't say you've been keeping a low profile. The Knight Commander is out of control. Even her own people have been talking about it. The curfews. The midnight raids on mages' families. Everyone I know forced into hiding so they won't be made tranquil. If they want you, they'll have to come through me. You're at as much risk as I am. That's what I worry. What if your money and position aren't enough? What if the Knight Commander turns on you? Everything I've done to control this. I don't care. I would drown us in blood to keep you safe. I don't want to see you lose yourself. To the Templars or justice. How much is left if you strip both those out? This is your fight too. One day, the world must see us as people. Not just mages. Help me make that happen. It's strange living here again. My child at home. Now owned by my child. I do hope you've been up front with me about really owning it. I don't want to be at the mercy of that wretched Dougal. It's nice to be here, though. To feel like an Amel again. Just don't go all pompous on me, all right? I promise. If there's one thing I learned in Ferelden, it's that good people can be born in a hut as easily as a palace. Honestly, after so many years as a peasant's wife, it feels strange to have nothing to do. But I can't spend the rest of my life mourning Bethany and Carver. They're gone, and I can't bring them back. I guess I just need to start picking you out a suitable husband. Now, gather a team, and we will begin. Choose carefully, for all will face temptation. I cannot join you in this. The fate is no place for men of faith. I never give in to temptation. I worry what a journey to the Fade might bring out in me. Let us begin. I had not thought to return in such a way. It is good to feel the breath of the Fade again, not the empty air of your world. We're just here for a visit, so don't get too homesick. I am Justice. Anders has told you of me. Come. I sense Fainville's mind straining. We will not have much time. Well, it's rare to see two forgotten magics in one day. It's usually a slow place, the Fade. Not many surprises. I wasn't sure I'd like this one, but it has potential. The Demon of Sloth. It exists to make men forget their purpose and their pride. Do not relax around it. Call me Torpor. I have a proposition that might interest you. Speak, but I promise nothing. I trust you're here for the mage, Fainriel. Two of the most powerful demons in this realm are vying for control of him. Sadly, I'm no warrior. I couldn't stand up to them. But if I did, I'd only want the boy's power to secure my position in the Fade. Don't listen to him. Sloth demons prey on your trust. I'd be no threat to your world. What sort of creatures are menacing Fainriel? There is a demon of desire called Caress. She ensnares him in dreams of bliss from which he will not emerge. The other is a creature of pride known as Rhyme. It offers Fainriel the power to control his life and world. What would it take to defeat these demons? They each weave an illusion for Fenriel. You must help him reject it. But be cautious. Shatter the dream too quickly and his mind will break. He must reach the realization on his own. Is there still time to save him? He suffers under the demon's assault. Every time they strain his connection to the mortal world, his mind breaks a little further. The pain of it. 
shakes this entire realm. So if I help you possess Fenrir, you won't attack Kirkwall? We are drawn to the mortal realm to merge with a living soul. Once I have done so, what need will I have for your people? I merely want power against my own kind. This is a monster! It asks you to sacrifice an innocent to its ambition! Ignore this tiresome little spirit. I ask only what it has already taken. A willing merger with a human host. Do not work with this creature. I will stop you. I will hear no more of this demon. Have it your way. I truly did not think what you did was possible. You are a rare human indeed. I don't know what came over me. I thought I was immune to silver-tongued promises. Does this mean I'm not getting my ship? Bugger it all. I find there's nothing like being possessed to keep you on the straight and narrow. Your friends awakened here some time ago. We all have weaknesses the demons find. You accomplished a miracle with Fainreel. This book belonged to the last dreamer of our tribe. It has a rare magic beyond price. Please, accept it with my gratitude. A lot of coin for this place. That's right, pal. Tonight I'm paid and blessed. And all I had to do was turn my head. To all my friends. Hey, step back. I know important people. We're going to show this city what to do with heathen oxmen. Let's see how you do when your target doesn't have their weapon bound. I never touched them, but I can take the likes of you. You want some of this? Take it from me and my new friends. You're on your own, pal. That's loyalty for you. Come on. I left your teeth so you can answer me. What? What do you want? I just did what he said. It was more coin than I've ever seen. Good start. Now who and where is he? I don't know. He was a Templar. We met near the Chantry. He, he said taking these Kunari was serving the Maker. I swear, he even had the seal of the Grand Cleric. True is true. Great. A Templar. Serving the Grand Cleric, no less. Great. Like any beast, remove the fangs and it is lost. They are weak before the faithful of the Maker. The only certainty in their precious Kuhn is death before the righteous. Sevonel! Take a knee, faithful. The Chantry blesses us. You claim a blessing when you have used the authority of the Grand Cleric so openly? You have brought wrath down upon you. You remember Sarah Hawk? The Kunari have friends, Templar. How will you answer their allegations? You want a fight? Face someone whose weapons are not bound. Templars are cowards. They only pick on those whose lives they already hold in their hands. Righteous! Destroy them! All right. Time to bring this mess to the Viscount's attention. Madness! Madness! That's a word for it. Chantry involvement. Even if they are fringe elements, oh, it could not be worse. The Chantry has seen the abuses the Templars get away with. Why would they not think to do the same? Have you noticed how many Tranquil are in the Gallows Courtyard lately? And don't tell me I'm just sensitive to it. I've been watching, 
and every day there are new tranquil, selling their bloody wares. Good mages, too. People I know pass their harrowing. Doesn't Chantry law say that mages who pass their harrowing can't be made tranquil? Exactly. The Templars are using the right of tranquility to silence those who speak against them. They're working on a deliberate plan to turn every mage in Kirkwall within the next three years. Who's behind this? The plan is the work of a Templar named Sir Ulrich. I've had a run-in with him myself. He's the one who did the ritual on Karl. Nasty piece of work. Likes to make mages beg. What happened between you and Sir Ulrich? I've been involved with an... underground resistance. Mages living free in Kirkwall who help others escape. I can't tell you any more, for your sake and theirs. You have too much involvement with the guard and nobility. Suffice it to say, I've been in the gallows. I've seen his work firsthand. What else do you know about Sir Ulrich? The Knight Commander is at least sincere in her convictions. However misguided, she believes she's helping people. Sir Ulrich's a sadist. Cold-blooded as a lizard. He likes to experiment on mages. Find out what it takes to push them into the arms of demons. How do we stop them? My friends in the Mage Underground know a way inside. A secret entrance under the walls of the gallows. Come with me tonight, please. Help me find the evidence of Sir Ulrich's tranquil solution. What do you mean, tranquil solution? That's what he calls it. His idea of a peaceful solution to the mage problem. To sunder the mind of every mage in the free marches. I'm told he's bringing his proposal to Val Royo, to the Divine herself. He would turn every mage in Thedas into a drooling simpleton under his command. I wouldn't let you face this alone. You are the one bright light in Kirkwall. I couldn't live to see you tranquil at that monster's hand. I'm ready to go when you are. Our entrance is concealed not far from here. This is it. This tunnel will take us into the gallows. With any luck, we'll simply be mistaken for thieves and not conspirators. Are you ready to help me find evidence of the tranquil solution? Let's go. No, please. I haven't done anything wrong. That's a lie. What do we do to mages who lie? I just wanted to see my mum. No one ever told her where they were taking me. No. No, this is their place. We cannot... So, you admit your attempted escape. You know what happens to mage girls who don't tow the line around here, don't you? Please, no! Don't make me tranquil. I'll do anything. That's right. Once you're tranquil, you'll do anything I ask. Get your hands off her! You fiends will never touch a mage again. They will die! I will have every last Templar for these abuses! It's over, Anders. They're all dead. Every one of them will feel justice's burn! Get away from me, demon! I am no demon! Are you one of them, that you would call me such? Anders, that girl is a mage. We rescued her from being made tranquil. She is theirs. I can feel their hold on her. She's the reason you're fighting, Anders. Don't turn on her now. Please, Monsieur. Baker, no. I almost... If you weren't here, I... I need to get out of here. You... you saved my life, Monsieur. What was that thing? Don't worry. It was all a trick by the Circle to scare you away from ever summoning demons. I... I wouldn't. I never... It was a joke. Can I go home now? Find your parents. But don't stay there. You must leave Kirkwall. I know. There's nowhere in the city where Sir Ulrich's men won't find me. Thank you, Messer. Andraste herself must have put you in that room. Trash. Trash. 
keep trash trash won't be needing that anymore you almost killed that girl justice has been warped by my rage i cannot contain him any longer maybe it's time to realize your limitations yes fine kick me while i'm down clearly you're right about everything it was a suggestion not a condemnation i will not put myself in that position again so you're just gonna stop let the templars win Maybe they deserve to win. Maybe they're right. How can I fight for the freedom of mages when I am the example of the worst that freedom brings? You are kind of everything good little apprentices are told to fear. How can I even trust myself to heal anymore? What if that creature of vengeance turns on a patient? Will he... will I resist? Or will I lose his fury? This is all Sir Ulrich had. Looks like the Tranquil solution began and ended with him. Let me see that. The Divine... rejected the idea. Meredith rejected the idea. This was... not what I expected. Perhaps I should try talking to the Grand Cleric. Maybe she's more reasonable than I thought. Thank you. I will think on what you've said. Hawk, the new scion of the Amel family. Congratulations. I knew an Amel once. He left the tower before Aldred's insanity, then came back to rescue us all. Anyway, what can I do for you? Your Sir Ulrich was working on a plan to turn all mages tranquil. I will not ask how you came by the personal effects of a man recently murdered within our own walls. It's true there has been some discussion of the idea, but as you can see, it has gone no further than that. You expect us to believe that? Believe what you like, mage. The harrowing has served us well enough for centuries. It will be up to mages themselves whether they push us to more stringent measures. It sounds like you support this. The tranquil ritual was created as a mercy so that mages need not be killed out of hand for a threat they might pose. There is an argument to be made for applying it more widely. Are you going to listen to this? He's no better than Sir Ulrich. Do you think it's easy to contain a mage who truly wants to deal with demons? We have done our best. But many mages have made it clear they view the ritual as no better than death. They want no controls on them at all. Your grandparents would be so proud of you. When I was a girl, the Amels were one of our most prominent families. I'm glad to have one of their line in the estate again. How can I help you? I think you should see these papers. Sir Ulrich? Where did you get these? He was murdered in the gallows not a few days ago. He was trying to turn every mage in Kirkwall tranquil. Sir Ulrich made a suggestion, yes. But we turned him down. But you don't condemn the practice outright. The right of tranquility has always been a last resort. It has saved lives, but it is not without its costs. If you'll excuse me. What are you doing? Putting out milk. I miss having a cat around. But I think the refugees have scared them all off. Or maybe eaten them. You know, I've been meaning to thank you. Having someone like you making a name for yourself in Kirkwall. It's done a lot for mages. You're the kind of leader we need. To tell the world we won't be punished any longer for our maker-given gifts. When you get like this, I think it'll be hard for anyone to turn you down. I've tried to hold back. You saw what I almost did to that girl. You've seen what I am. But I'm still a man. Don't expect me to resist forever. I don't want you to resist. If we could die tomorrow, I didn't want it to be without doing that. So that's it? Now you're ready to die? I thought with justice, this part of me was over. I can't give you a normal life. If you're with me, we'll be hunted, hated. The whole world will be against us. If your door is open tonight, 
I will come to you. If not, I'll know you took my warning at last. You're here. I wasn't sure you would come. Justice does not approve of my obsession with you. He believes you're a distraction. It is one of the few things on which he and I disagree. If you hadn't come, I'd be out looking for you. When I was in the circle, love was only a game. It gave the Templars too much power if there was something you couldn't stand to lose. It would kill me to lose you. You didn't come here to talk. No mage I know has ever dared to fall in love. This is the rule I will most cherish breaking. I love you. I've been holding back from saying that. You should have a normal life, not be tied down to a fugitive with no future. But I don't ever want to leave you. Don't ever leave. Do you mean that? Would you have me here, living with you? Would you tell the world, the Knight Commander, that you love an apostate and you will stand beside him? I want you right here. Until the day we die. For three years, I have lain awake every night, aching for you. I'm still terrified I'll wake up. Now that I'm living here, there isn't room for you in the bed. Do you understand? <coughs> that won't work on me. I'm a cat person. Cheer up, old boy. Maybe you can bunk with Sandal. Enchantment! I've been wondering if I shouldn't remarry. I've seen how that Anders fellow looks at you. I'm sure the last thing you need is your mother watching over your shoulder every time you come home. But perhaps there is still life once your children have outgrown you. Sounds like you've got someone in mind. Nothing I'm ready to share yet, so don't pry. But it is refreshing to think I could still be courted at this age. It's been quite pleasant having Master Anders staying here, Monsieur. <laughs> He's funny. And he finds my boys and chanting quite intriguing. Mm, that's the word he used. It's too bad he seems so intent on whatever it is he works on. Anders may have talents, but playing the loot isn't one of them. And then Hawk tore the door clean off its hinges, walked into the room, and... <clears throat> I guess we'll finish this later. Have you got a minute, Barrick? Of course, Hawk. Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you. You and, uh, what's-his-name, that mage, seem to be getting pretty close. So, what's going on, Hawk? Well, 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 I never thought you were the type, Varric. I'm flattered. Hawk, I know I'm damned near irresistible, but you're just too high maintenance for me. Sorry. Listen, as your friend, I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't say something. Maybe, just maybe, getting involved with the possessed mage might be dangerous. There, I've said my piece. In all the time you've known me, have I ever given you the impression that I was turned off by crazy? <laughs> okay, point taken. Isabella, my dusky goddess. You have buried yourself in the flesh of my heart like a worm in a red, red apple. You heartworm you. Oh, look, my friend is here. Excuse me. But I haven't gotten to the part where I invite you to feast upon my tender white flesh. That's all right. I think I'll manage. Speaking of romance, you, Anders, and Justice... That must be exciting. As they say, two's company, but three is better. 
I don't think whoever made that claim had a Fade Spirit in mind. No? You don't like his Spear of Righteousness, then? Or perhaps he thinks you're too good of a person and isn't willing to smite you. That would be a shame, wouldn't it? Everyone deserves a good smiting now and then. I could use one right this minute. <laughs> For a minute. Stop saying that! I know I shouldn't have sold the idol of that woman. It was a mistake! A mistake? Bartrand, get a hold of yourself. Do you know where you are? Do you know what you've done? Berg! You'll help me, won't you, little brother? Help me find it again. You were always a good one. Help you. Bartrand, you left me to die. You left all your men to die. And for what? Some trinket? Look at yourself. Look at what you've done to the men and women who served you. Where's your nobility, brother? Where's your dwarven honor? This doesn't feel natural. If he wasn't a dwarf, I'd think a demon did this. His mind has been... poisoned by something powerful. That's all I can do. It won't last, I'm sorry. Varric? I'm here. Varric? What have I done? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Make it stop, little brother. Don't let me... Don't let House Tetris fall like this. I know. I don't deserve it. But please, Varric, don't leave me like this. Make it stop. Enough with the speeches. I'll get you to a healer, and you'll be fine. Enough chatter. Grab him and let's go. I'll send someone to come get him. Sit tight, brother. Help is on the way. Come on, Hawk. The sooner we get out of this house, the better. Did you need something, Varric? A stiff drink, maybe. I feel like I've been kicked by a horse. I almost wish Blondie hadn't wiggled his fingers and cleared Bartrand's head. I liked it better when I just wanted to kill the bastard. Look at the bright side. You can spend the rest of your days as a caretaker for a murderous lunatic. Oh, thanks for reminding me. You're a real ray of sunshine. I'll deal with Bartrand somehow. Make her that'll be even more of a joy than it used to be. Do you think the mirror had something to do with Tamlin's disappearance? The ruin we trapped Tamlin to was full of traps and monstrous things, but we found no body. His trail ended at the broken pieces of Alluvion. This thing may have killed someone, and you brought it here? It's not dangerous, I promise. I fixed it, or, or tried to, with blood magic. The mirror won't hurt anyone. I cringe every time she says that. She has no idea what she's messing with. I do. I have it totally under control. But it doesn't work. I've tried everything, and I think it's because it needs to be finished with a special tool. And a ruling home. And my clan has one. It's been in their hands for generations. I hear a butt coming. I can't go back there alone. You have no idea, the Keeper. I, I can't talk to her. We fight or, or talk circles around each other. She has a disappointed frown that turns your bones to jelly. Please help me. You will, won't you? I'm not helping you fix a mirror that kills people. It doesn't. I guess it was foolish of me to ask. I'll just have to find another way. Praise Andrast. I mean the creators. I thought I'd never get out of... Meryl? Anethera, Paul. Are you hurt? Stay back. What do you want from me? Paul, what's wrong? I'm here to help. Stay back! Don't touch me! Be calm, Paul. We'll help you get back to the camp. You don't know what she is, what she's done! Creators, help me! Someone, please! Paul, no! We have to catch him, hurry!
Hold on, Paul. We're coming. Paul? Maybe it's not too late. You can help him, can't you, Anders? You can heal anyone. Meryl. He's gone. Why did you run? You shouldn't have run. What did you do to scare this man to death? I'll give you a hint. It has to do with demons and slitting your wrists. Do you need a minute alone? No. Thank you. I... We have too much to do for me to sit here bawling. What did the Keeper mean the mirror led you to blood magic? I... The shard I picked up was corrupted. I couldn't cleanse it without help. The Keeper refused. She said that it belonged to another time and should be left there. So I found a... Spirit. It gave me the power to purify the mirror through blood magic. I've never heard of blood magic purifying anything. Neither have I. There's nothing inherently evil about blood magic. It's magic, like any other. Are you really that stupid? The power that contaminated the mirror was too strong to be driven out by normal means. If I had piles of lyrium lying about, I could have used that, but I didn't. I used what I had. Everyone else seems to be terrified of this mirror of yours. Maybe you should be too. You're siding with the Keeper. Over the Blood Mage? I vote yes. This is dangerous, yes. But it is restoring something vital to my people. I know what I'm doing, Hawk. Give me the Arul in home. I'm keeping it. I can't let you do this. Hawk, I need... A favor that I can only trust to you. Oh? This should be good. It should be a small matter, but I worry. I need you to give something to Guardsman Donick, here in the barracks. No questions, and he is not to know it's from me. Donick? The one we pulled from an ambush? The event that put me here. But this is a different need of the Guard and its captain. And you're doing very badly at the no-questions part. You need me for something as simple as this? I protect many people, citizens well beyond the men and women I command. But who do I really know besides you? I need a friend to do this. It's a short list. It must be something important if you're going to all this trouble. That's none of your business. How very canary of you. I already regret this. I'm not about to make it worse by exposing unnecessary facts. You can accept that or not, but that's all I can say. If that's all you need, I'll walk the hundred feet to him. Thank you, and please hurry back with his reaction. I appreciate this, Hawk. I really do. Guardsman Donick. Sir Hawk, it's been some time. You're here in Hightown now, right? I think the captain mentioned it. I see your uncle now and then on my patrols, but we don't talk. No ill effects from the ambush, I trust. They got me pretty good, I'll admit. But they fared worse, so I can't complain. Guard is a good career if you're careful. A short one if you're not. And the captain makes sure we're careful. I have it on good authority that you are going to enjoy this. Am I now? It's a copper relief of... Marigolds? Ah, and it helpfully says so. Marigolds. Well, how crafty. Is there a meaning to this that I should know? Possibly, here, you throw this away? Well, it certainly conveys that. Right. I'm sure we both have things to do, of varying import. Sir Hawk. That was awkward. What was Aveline thinking? Indeed. You're back. Of course you are. You're efficient. Get things done, good or ill. So, how did Donick react? 
To your garbage, you mean? I thought it was clear. Metal is strong, copper ages well, flowers are soft. I've clearly gone about this the wrong way. Don't talk to him again. Just take this, the patrols, for next week. Post it to the roster and just... listen. Really? Just walk over there and post the roster? I want his honest reaction without the captain present. You could just have him hauled off. This isn't about an accusation I can put in a report and explain. I need someone unofficial. All right. Posting the roster just over there. I need to know exactly how he reacts. That's key. Thank you. She'd do a lot better to just get this fellow alone in a room. Life's too short. Hey, Donick! Whose pucker have you been greasing to get high town? What? You're daft. I'm working those skinnings across town. Says here you're guarding the square. Always been a make-work job, that one. You someone's pet? Check your eyes. It's a mistake. Says the pet. You have got to be kidding me. What did I do to get that post? Donick thinks I'm punishing him. But Hightown is a safe patrol, a reward. You wanted his reaction. All right. I can fix this. I need... I need three goats and a sheaf of wheat. You'll take them to his mother. It's a dowry tradition. Maybe it will smooth the process. The process? Oh my. Please don't. It's a courtship. The mother of all awkward ones, but still. How exactly did you think this mess would work? I don't know what I thought. I've been focused on being captain for so long, that's all I know. It can't be a complete mystery. You were married once, right? That was a long time ago. It was easier, or seemed to be. I can't imagine you having trouble speaking your mind. It's just fear. I know it's foolish, but I can't get away from it. What about you and Anders? He's all but cursed. How do you live with that danger? Maybe we're not the best example. But you understand. I feel paralyzed. I hate it. So you've been by yourself since we came to Kirkwall? I am diligent on behalf of my men. And I've neglected many other things. I can drag him in here right now. Just say the word. Oh, and how would that look? The captain ordering her guardsmen to... to... it wouldn't help. Let him decide if that bothers him. What? Just go out somewhere. Like it's that easy. What? Too simple? Tell Donick. Invite him to the Hanged Man. Don't tell him about me. Make something up. It's a surprise, or just you, or a group, anything to get him there. He's not like the others. I don't want him to think he's meeting the captain. Guardsman Donick, how are you? Good, I suppose. Doesn't matter. Free for an evening. I have no immediate patrols. Why? Never mind. Free drinks at the Hanged Man. Be there. Uh, all right. The Hanged Man it is. There were supposed to be others coming, right? Plans change. Apparently. Right. Look, <laughs> I should really, um... What? No. Sit. Drink. Another round. Make a yes. Is great. Look, 
If this was all an attempt to get closer to me through the captain, um, you're just not my type. All this playing shy business. I like a little backbone. I have to go. Thanks for the drinks. I... I couldn't do it. What did he say? He thinks I'm interested in him. I'm an idiot. Admitting it is a good step. Where are you heading next? The barracks, Ferelden, the deepest hole I can find. You've never been the hiding type. I know, all right, but I freeze up. The only place I'm not a mess is on patrol. And killing highwaymen doesn't afford much opportunity for banter. More excuses? I will not risk. Then you will have nothing. You can't ignore advice from such a stable source. But I can't fight and talk. I'll clear the way, and you can see if he's the one. You're too good at this. Is it any wonder you've all but taken Hightown? You clear the route up the wounded coast, and I... will think of something to say. So this route's pretty quiet? Yes, and it's... a real nice night for an evening. Um, <laughs> as you say, Captain. <laughs> yes, as I say. Maker, she's bad at this. If it isn't done right, the blade can be too soft. Quenching the steel is a vital step that can make or break a sword. Right. A blade for every purpose. What do you think about blades? I'm sorry, Captain. I drifted off a bit. Right, of course. Ah, oh, painful. Well, Guardsman, good patrol. I think we're done, and I... Hawk, what a surprise. What are you doing here? Aveline. Hawk, don't. We don't have all night, you know. Would someone please tell me what's going on? Are you blind, man? Kiss her already. Captain? Uh. I should get back to the barracks. I thought we were friends. Friends sometimes push. I... I have to fix this. You'll file a complaint. Ask for a transfer. You. You're coming to the barracks to explain why you put him on the spot. Double time, Hawk, or so help me. Aveline. Guardsman Donick. Did not file a complaint. This was all incredibly stupid, and you made it wonderful. You finally mastered the obvious. I'll take your word on the second part. You'll get the chance. I was mute and now I want to sing. Please don't. I just... There's no way I can ever repay you. Perhaps it's simple. Thank you. Hey, can I ask you something? Was there a moment when you thought I was beyond help? Don't ruin the moment. It was hard work getting here. All right, fair enough. Shout when you need me, Hawk. I'll always be here for you. Just... Knock first. I brought you something. It's shiny and subversive. I thought you'd like it. You got me a gift. I hardly think I've done anything to deserve that. Is it a... That's a Tervinta Chantry amulet. Do you want me to get executed? It's sacrilege to wear those in any land under the Divine. Here, I thought you fight for mages' rights. Whoever's bad side that puts you on. I like it. Maybe not on the outside of my clothes. I'm not that eager to face the hangman's noose. But I appreciate the thought. I've never really thought about what life would be like in the Tevinta Chantry. In the Circle, they make it sound like the Void itself. The Black Divine stalking Fadus, making it unsafe for kittens and virgins. Those kittens and virgins will just have to find a nice strong mage to protect them. <laughs> From what I hear about the Tevinters, that's the last thing they'd want. The virgins, anyway. I've never heard about any horrific, 
kitten rituals, I appreciate the gift. Perhaps one day I can return one as meaningful. You've been here before, haven't you? I wonder if we'll find more than just a sack of bones this time. Mother must be here somewhere. We need to look around. What is this? The woman in the painting. She almost looks like Mother. A shrine dedicated to a wife? A sister? I need to find her. Now! I was wondering when you'd show up. Leandra was so sure you'd come for her. Mother always knew me best. Yes. And she spoke so fondly of you. What a lovely, gentle woman. Quentin! Gascard! So, you've reached me after all these years. I figured you gave up. You lying dirtbag! Why didn't you tell me his name was Quentin? I had the other things on my mind. You promised you'd teach me, Quentin. You're going to deliver on that promise. I promised to teach you. I didn't promise to teach you everything. I'll kill you for this deception. I didn't deceive you totally. The plan was always to kill Quentin. And we can still work together. Once he's dead, you'll have your mother back. And his research and writings will be mine. I'm sorry, Gascard. When my wife died, I lost all hope. I wasn't able to be the mentor you deserved. But now, my work is finished. And I can teach you as I always meant to. Come back to me, Gascard. You'll let me be part of this. You'll teach me the secrets of necromancy. I... <laughs> what? You were going to do that, right? You will never understand my purpose. Your mother was chosen because she was special. And now, she is part of something... greater. Spare me the demented rambling. Where is she? She is here. She is waiting for you. I have done the impossible. I have touched the face of the Maker and lived. Do you know what the strongest force in the universe is? Love. I pieced her together from memory. I found her eyes, her skin, her delicate fingers. And, at last, her face. Oh, this beautiful face. I searched far and wide to find you again, beloved. And no force on this earth will part us. Mother! There's nothing I can do. His magic was keeping her alive. I knew you would come. I tried to find you. Shh! Don't fret, darling. That man would have kept me trapped in here. Now, I'm free. I get to see Bethany again. And your father. But you'll be here alone. I should have watched over you more closely. I should have... 
My little boy has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud. I know nothing I say will change it. I'm just... I'm sorry. You were lucky to have her as long as you did. When the pain fades, that's what will matter. I didn't try hard enough to save her. She wouldn't want you to blame yourself. You don't know my mother. No. And I'm sorry I never will. I'm here for you. Whatever you need. I cannot leave without the relic. And I cannot stay and remain blind to this dysfunction. There is only one solution. Arishok, there is no need for... The neck cut us. Not here! Too open! Go! Go! You're safe. Thank the Maker. I thought they got you. Dark Town is flooded with people trying to get away from all this. The Canari are assaulting the city and fast. The Arashok planned this for who knows how long. I'll rally the Guardsmen. I suggest heading to your estate in Hightown. Be careful. I am Knight Commander Meredith. I know you. The name Hawk has turned up in my reports many times. Too many. But that doesn't matter now. The Kunari are taking people to the Keep and may already be in control. We will need to deal with them. Why would they be gathering hostages? They're going to take everyone of import and put them in the same place. Those that agree to convert, live. Those that don't... Charming. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I'd become a Templar. You think I'm a fool, do you? I saw you using magic. Uh-oh. Here it comes. You have one chance, and one chance only, to prove yourself apostate. Do not test me. The relic is reclaimed. I am now free to return to Parvalin with the thief. What? You thought you could strand them here for four years without consequence? She stole the Tome of Kazloon. She must return with us. Sounds like you have something very specific in mind. She will submit to the Kuhn and the Ben Hasraf. More than that, I will not say. Isabella will answer according to our lords, not yours. Then you leave me no choice. Arisha Kost. Kunanam Ebrator. You have granted this man Bazalit Arn. By this admission, he now has the right to challenge you. You know our ways. I know that respect is hard won. But it also earns privilege. I challenge you, Hawk. You and I will battle to the death with her as the prize. No! If you're going to duel anyone, duel me! You are not Basilidan. You are unworthy. Don't you have what you came for? You know we do not suffer thieves. She cannot walk away from this insult. I will take her. If you object, duty demands that we fight. All right. Let's dance. Maravas! So shall it be! One day, we shall return.
For the Maker's sake, draw the curtains. Do you know what could happen if the Knight Commander spies catch two apostates talking? No. What? No wonder the demons found you such easy prey. Her ignorance will be what draws the Templars down on us. I'm more concerned about you. It means more than I can say to have had a partner these past three years. It makes me believe we can do anything. There's something I want you to have. What is it? This key opens the cellars below the house here. You can get in from Darktown, if you ever need a quick escape. Thank you. It still surprises me how much you risk for my sake. I will keep it close. You're giving me that look again. What are you writing this time? So, you and Hawk, I need some details. Did you go down on one knee? Did he jump you? Did you swear eternal vows of love, or is this just a physical thing? I don't see how that's any of your business. Fine, but if you don't tell me, I'm just going to have to make it up. Are you happy? Beg your pardon? He seems happy. Hawk, I mean. Are you? Yes, I suppose I am. Good. You've spent much too much time being grumpy. It's a nice change. If you think that was bad, I should tell you about the Black Marsh. <laughs> See, when you say things like that, Blondie, it just makes me glad I didn't know you sooner. Who goes to a place named Black Marsh on purpose? Now, they called it Beer Marsh. No, still doesn't work. You've got a point. The marsh part does cancel out anything else. Flower marsh, kitten marsh... No, no good. Ah, you've got company. I'll see you later. Hawk, what can I do for you? What was Anders here for? Blondie didn't tell you? He comes down here now and then. He loses at cards to Isabella and I buy him drinks. He's got some stories about his days in Ferelden that sound implausible, even to me. He's not bad for a mage. Crazy, but that's most everyone in this city. I wouldn't say no to a pint. I should make you buy the drinks, O oh champion of Kirkwall. <laughs> so, what's the word in Lowtown, Varric? Nothing you don't know already. The Viscount's departure, a vacuum of power, troubles brewing. Get rid of one thread and another appears. I'm starting to think this city's in love with Crisis. Hope you're ready for it, my friend. I'm keeping Bianca close. Now you, I wasn't expecting. How do you do? My name is Zevran Aranai, adventurer and occasional assassin. I've heard about you. You helped the hero of Ferelden stop the Blight. At your service, my friend. I must admit, I was waiting for an assault by the Crows, not the mighty champion of Kirkwall. How do you know I'm the champion? Slayer of Kunari, Deep Roads Explorer, and may I say, one fine specimen of manhood. You underestimate your fame. I'll assume you're not talking about birds. Oh, please, do not tell me you know nothing of the Antivan Crows. We are the finest guild of assassins, an object of fear throughout the lands for any man with wealthy enemies. <laughs> or I should say they are. I am no longer a crow, a fact they find unacceptable. There must be more to it than you leaving the guild. That is offense enough to the crows, believe me. I may have also killed the last four assassins they sent after me, and uh, all their men. Oh, and the guildmaster. In fact, if you were a crow, you might make a fortune bringing me in. <laughs> you should consider a career change. <laughs> no, really. I thought you'd be taller. Ah, let me guess. A man named Nuncio has asked you to capture a dangerous killer, yes? What did he say this time? That I killed his wife, butchered his parents, sold his children into slavery? Or did he tell you he was a lawman from Antiva, charged with apprehending a ridiculously handsome fugitive? He didn't mention how handsome. Ah, so you've noticed. I credit my high cheekbones and pouty lips. Bring me to Nancio if you wish, but I warn you, he surely intends to kill you. The crows do not like loose ends. Unlike myself. 
But you are a man who can clearly handle himself, yes? Hmm? Why worry? So, you can either tie me up, gag me, and then manhandle me. Or you can take me to Nuncio. Which will it be, I wonder? You're very compliant for a fugitive. Compliant, yes, and very bendy. But truthfully, I know when I am outmatched. I would rather take my chances against the Crows. I like your list of options, but does it have to be in that order? I knew you couldn't resist my obvious charms. It's, it's the accent, isn't it? I'm not going to hand you over to someone who lied to me. As a suggestion, you might wish to deal with Nuncio. If you don't, he will only come after you. It's been more than a pleasure, my dear champion. Fare you well. I let your assassin go. Was I not supposed to do that? You had him? And you let him go? I am thoroughly disappointed. No one fails the crows and lives. Ah, poor stupid Nuncio. The crows do like that saying, but I am living proof it's a lie. <laughs> Why they insist on thinking they can kill people like you and the warden, <laughs> I will never guess. Let me tell you, it's a burden I bear on a daily basis. You are nothing but a traitor and a coward, Zevron. You'll die here! Yes, well, let's see how that works out for you. Excellent. Killing my former brothers in arms is oddly satisfying. I've little reward to offer you, champion, but perhaps this will serve as a token of my thanks. It is time for me to move on. Unless you'd uh, care to get to know each other better, champion. Is there more to know about you? Seems like it's all right there on the surface. Oh, I see. Fair enough, then. It is time to move on, as they say. I have a little war to wage back home, and so little time. Perhaps we'll meet again, Champion. Champion, welcome. Tell me why I'm here. There was an incident within the gallows. A number of phylacteries were destroyed and several mages took the opportunity to escape. We've recovered most of the fugitives. However, I require your assistance in tracking down the last three. How did the phylacteries get destroyed? An insurrection. Several of my own Templars orchestrated the escape, presumably out of sympathy for the mages. They turned their backs on their duty and endangered their charges, as well as the city. Thankfully, most who escaped fled to their families and offered no resistance. The last three are proving more... difficult. I will force no mage back under your yoke. Let me be very clear on this matter, then. You are an apostate, one who operates freely only because you have been a protector to this city. If I suspect that is no longer the case, then I may decide your status needs to change. Threats aren't going to work. I am not threatening you. I am asking you to justify the confidence Kirkwall has granted you. With the influence you wield in this city, Champion, it is crucial you understand just what we face. Talk to these Major's families. Investigate for yourself whether they need be recaptured. Seems like you're giving me a lot of rope. Trying to hang me with it? I'm trying to solve a difficult problem in as gentle a fashion as I dare. You do not approve of my methods, but perhaps you will change your mind when you see firsthand how dangerous these apostates are. And what would it take to change your mind? Speak to my assistant Elsa. She can tell you whatever you need to know about the fugitives. I bid you good day, Champion. Good day, Champion of Kirkwall. Knight Commander Meredith has informed me that you will be tracking down the apostates on behalf of the Templars. There are three of them. Huon, Emil, and Evelina. Why does Meredith have a tranquil assistant? She flaunts what she can do to mages. She likes to rub our faces in it. The Knight Commander believes tranquil mages to be efficient and single-minded. I, in particular, am extremely organized.
What are you doing here? I, I thought if we warned her about you, she, she wouldn't be angry. But then she... Walter... She's coming! Run! There you are. Don't run from me, Walter. You know those are the rules. Funny. In my house, we always felt running away from violent madwomen was a good thing. These are my children. You and your kind abandoned them. You're Ferelden. Like us. But you feast on sweetmeats while your people starve in the Undercity. I spit on you, traitor. And on the pathetic Templars that sent you, Turquoise should be mine. Then my children will have a whole city to play in. I don't understand. Evelina loved us. She saved us. Why would she try to hurt us now? Evelina would never hurt you, child. That was a demon. Remember her as she was. A brave, kind, loving woman. I... I'll try. This isn't going to stop. The Templars force our hand. They make us take drastic measures just to be free. Like Evelina did. Exactly. I just don't know what we'll do now. Take this, and use it wisely. Thank you, Messer. I should go buy some food for the others. They've been hungry for a long time. Emile de Lancet? Hey, how do you know my name? Did Nena tell you? I gave her my Lancet signet ring in exchange for a kiss. And tonight, she's going to make me a man. This is what lack of sex does to a person. I can only watch in horror. He's lived in the circle all his life. He can't function in the real world. Round of drinks on me. I'm Emil, as you know. And you are. Feeling very sorry for you. I'm also helping the Templars hunt a mage named Emile de Lancet. And here you are. Oh, buggery. I know what this is about. I, I, I'm not a blood mage, all right? I uh, started that rumor because uh, because I thought it would make me sound dangerous and uh, uh, suave. Do you have a death wish? You grew up in the circle. You know what the Templars do to blood mages. I've only told people in the tavern. And only women. You don't understand. I've been in the circle since I was six. Six! For 20 years I was locked up. I never had a real drink or, uh, or cooked something for myself. Never stood in the rain or kissed a girl. The Ferelden circle's more fun. Everyone was kissing everyone. Though that was before the abominations. I just wanted to live a little. If you are going to kill me, do it. I'd rather die drunk. Did you really escape the circle so you could kiss a girl? Well, not just that. I've read so much about the other things you can do with girls. Ah, he's like you were. Do you remember, Aveline? When you were stupid over Donick? Yes, I remember. Thank you. I just don't want to die a virgin. You can't run. The Templars will find you eventually. I... I'll make you a deal, all right? Give me one night. Just one night. One of the tavern girls, Nella, agreed to lie with me. I even paid for a room. Please, let me have this. You can take me back in chains after. Would you really risk your life to be with her? She's not even special to you. She's not too ugly. The Templars may come while you're with her. And believe me, they won't ask questions before they run you through. Maybe you're right. Maybe it isn't worth it. Ah, oh, you win. I'll go back to the circle. This was a stupid idea from the beginning. Thank you for coming, champion. Few will associate with me now that I am the focus of Meredith's ire. Which leaves me in a difficult position. 
She is not entirely wrong. Inform the criers. A miracle has occurred. I know some of my people are using dangerous means to oppose her. But I cannot seek the Templar's aid without making every mage a target. What are they doing? All I know is numerous mages have left the circle at night, sometimes for days at a time. I'd rather not follow our knight commander by leaping to the worst possible conclusion. But the idea of blood magic has crossed my mind. She does like to add one and one and get eleven, doesn't she? Sometimes a hundred and eleven. I've heard rumors, whispers of a meeting tonight in Hightown. I would go myself, but should I leave the tower without permission, Meredith would call it proof of my involvement. So I shouldn't slip my wrists and dance naked under the moonlight just to fit in? I would pay to see that. Just learn the nature of this meeting. You needn't interrupt unless you find proof of something sinister. I pray not. Or Meredith will have what she needs to justify the right of annulment. I told you he was after us. No, not him. I can't do this. Two arms! I told them not to do it, I swear. If I knew you were the one they were talking about, I'd have warned you. I don't hold with kidnapping. Not after what I went through. Didn't I save your life? You did. Believe me. I still dream about those blood mages. I don't know where I'd be without you. I'd never have let them kidnap anyone I knew was one of yours. I don't like where this is heading. They said someone was spying. We needed leverage. Someone they cared about. As a hostage. We just got word they pulled some Ferelden mage out of Hightown. You bastards are going to pay if you hurt him. We weren't going to hurt him. Just make sure you left us alone. Do you understand? Thrask says Meredith will cause open war with the mages if she stays in charge. We have to take her down. Is Thrask the one running this conspiracy? He's the one who brought us together. For six years he's been working, one mage, one Templar at a time, teaching us we don't have to hate each other. He showed us Meredith isn't the only way. Is this whole thing to oust the Knight Commander? She needs to go, don't you see? We need a real Viscount and Templars who protect mages, not massacre them. Just look what Thrask accomplished. Mages and Templars working together. Isn't that what we all want? I thought you'd be the last person to join a conspiracy of apostate mages. They aren't apostates. They want the Circle. They want it to work like it's supposed to. To protect them. The mages aren't the problem. Meredith is. The Knight Commander needs to go. That's what Thrask says. Without her, we have a chance at peace. What are you going to do to Thrask? To me? This isn't going to end well. If I were you, I'd stay out of range. Thank you. I'm really sorry you were the one. Your friends should be fine. They were going to our base on the wounded coast. The ruins there. I'll go to Marsha. Try to wait this out. I don't think I can serve the Templars while Meredith is still in charge. I suppose it was too much to hope that he wouldn't have come here. Though I can't understand why you side with Meredith now. You showed me we can stand up to her. When I realized you had risked your life lying to protect those mages. Please, champion. I have nothing but respect for you. It's Meredith we must see gone. I will not negotiate while my friend lies drugged on the floor. We will release him the moment I have your word that you will support us. No. The traitor dies. Then the champion. Stand down, Grace. <laughs> A mage is a snake in the grass that will turn on you every time. We will not kill an innocent to achieve our ends. It gains us nothing to become Meredith. Meredith? What do I care for Meredith? I'm here for the champion. I've been wondering when you'd come back to bite me in the ass. Decimus was right. 
There is no way for a mage to live by the Chantry's laws. You killed the best man I ever met, but I learned all he had to teach. Elaine, kill the hostage! I... I don't know, Grace. Try to do a blood mage a favor. This isn't right, Grace. The champion tried to help us. Don't defy me, boy. Without me, you'd be nothing. If you're too squeamish, I'll do it myself. No. No one has to die here. <laughs> oh, but that's where you're wrong. Restrain yourself. Forget the hostage. Kill the champion! I knew she was still alive, but I didn't know Thrask was working with her. When I saw her today, it brought everything back. Everything I saw Decimus do. I... I'm sorry. Grace used blood magic to hold him. There's no other way to wake him up. Well, this is embarrassing. I never thought of myself as a damsel in distress. I thought you were better than this. A couple of lousy Templars and you're down. They knew better than to send Templars. I didn't think one of my own would turn on me. I'm always happy to see your face. But it seems particularly lovely right now. Your mage Templar group was conspiring to overthrow Meredith. I have a sudden deep regret I interfered. <sighs> you know, I was half convinced Meredith had engineered the whole thing to trick me into incriminating myself. Thrask admitted to leading the group. Perhaps I've exaggerated the depths of her madness. But if she's not there yet, she will be soon. Oh, she's there. The only question is, once it's clear she cannot lead, will there be anyone left to oppose her? Please accept this as my thanks. It will be of more value to you right now than my friendship. What happened at Chateau Haim? What happened with Talis? You've heard about her? We had someone there, but they lacked your access. Whatever Talis was to the champion, it seems like it angered a nation. Thousands of lives were at stake, Seeker. Perhaps one still is. Uh, nicely non-specific. <clears throat> All right. Let me set the scene. An ambush, an invitation, a hunting party. All because of Talus. And of course, there's no one. All I know is it had something to do with you and nobles. Edge is usually very reliable. Edge? That's his name? Feels like an ambush. Why? It's not always an ambush. All right. Maybe sometimes it's an ambush. And there is the champion of Kirkwall. You die today. What are you waiting for? Sloppy. You'd think the crows would be better at this. They've been doing it for ages. Interesting entrance. You have some fine moves. I do, don't I? My name is Talus, and I've been looking for you. Looking for me? Looking for the man who has an invitation to Chateau Hain, to be specific. 
Oh, that's what Edge was on about. You remember? Duke Prosper, the one who fawned all over you at the Champion of Kirkwall Banquet. He talked about a hunt. I doubt I'd go to such a thing. I was hoping you'd reconsider. The Duke is a delightful host. Or so I hear. Let me guess. This isn't just a social call. I need to relieve him of something he has no right to possess. And I can't do it alone. You want to rob him? Well, stealing from Orlesians is never wrong. Or so I've been told. There's always a catch. Nobody ever helps us unless there's a catch. This isn't how I was planning to ask you this. I was picturing an introduction with... less blood. What makes you think I steal things just because people ask me to? Uh... I may have talked you up a bit. Uh, maybe more than once. Wonderful. What? You'd rather I told everyone you were a mage? All I've heard is that you get things done. I'm hoping that's true. I imagine if we did this, it'd be together, wouldn't it? That's the idea. Or did you have something else in mind? I am standing right here, aren't I? I just think we should get to know one another. I think I'd like that. So, tell me, what exactly is it you want to steal? A jewel. The Duke thinks it's valuable, and it is, just not in the way he believes. What's more, he shouldn't have it in the first place. He who wishes to walk on water must first learn to swim. Come with me to Chateau Hain. I'll explain everything on the way. If nothing else, you get fine wine and fancy company. But I hope you want more than that. So you trust this woman who just leapt off a rooftop into the middle of an ambush with the crows? I didn't have anything to do with the ambush. I wasn't asking if you did. I'm pretty sure she's not a Templar, Anders. What was your father like? You never could get a straight answer out of the man. Everything was a joke. People say I take after him. You and Bethany were lucky. Most mages would kill to have what you had. At the Circle, any accidental babies are taken away before the mother even sees them. And the Chantry says it's all about protecting families. I wish we could stay like this forever, love. I had a quick look around. There's one door into the castle that isn't under heavy guard. So, what's the problem? It's underwater? Enchanted with ancient Devinta runes? Covered in spiders? I can't get it open. And believe me, I tried. Bent a nice set of lockpicks in that stupid door. One of the Duke's guardsmen must have the key. They wouldn't just lock themselves out of the castle. I hope. Why else would the party be in the garden? He probably has someone breaking a window right now. I could make that work, actually. But in the meantime, let's find someone with a key. We draw too much attention to ourselves. We should spread out. Talis and I will look for the key. Get out of sight, and watch for chevaliers or guards. Let's see what we can find out. Come on. The first order of business is getting out of here before His Grace decides we would taste good in the soup. Or whatever he has planned. Any ideas? Oh, I'm sure the others will be along any minute now. That's it. I'm taking the lead. You think I'm going to trust you to find Hawk? Could you stop with the all mages are evil diatribe for one minute? They may not all be evil, but one of them in particular is extremely annoying. <sighs> That's it. I'm officially tired of waiting to be rescued. Why didn't you just do that before? You said your friends were coming. Thank the Maker. Are you all right, love? Let's go. So, back through the castle, then? There's a better way than fighting through the Duke's entire army. I'll show you. Here I always figured you'd be the one coming to spring me from someone's dungeon. I had it all planned. I'd be in the gallows, Templars all around. Holding the brand for the right of tranquility? Then you'd burst in and break my chains. And then it would be all about the best way to show my gratitude. 
Did it have anything to do with finding another use for those chains? Not to come between you two or anything, but you didn't actually rescue us. I did. It's the thought that counts. So you could go. There are, however, other options. Coming on a bit strong there, Talis. We've only just met. But we've been through so much together. Wyvern hunts, betrayals, daring escapes from prison. You're right. I'm feeling so close to you right now. <laughs> so, it's true what they say about you. Amazing, isn't it? You've been so reasonable since we were captured. I'm hoping that hasn't changed. Are you married? Performing a survey? It's just... you're the champion of Kirkwall. Big. Important. I don't know. Just... wondering if there's a little woman behind the throne. Yes. Who is behind your throne, Hawk? Let's keep moving. away from me the empress will hear of this all i will burn kirkwall to the ground all of you will die screaming i swear it i would have tried begging for mercy but that's just me you blasted darn it thank you for the lovely party i'll treasure the belt They never learn. Looks like the Duke has fallen from grace. So what now? You aren't just going to leave, are you? <laughs> you think I would fit into your merry entourage? We're hardly merry. It's true. Some of them hardly ever crack a smile. Well, that's just sad, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe some other time, Hawk. I still have a few things to do, but I am grateful. I want you to know that. That's what you do for a friend. I can honestly say I'm a little jealous of you right now. Jealousy never hurt anyone. Much? Hmm. Oh, before I forget, that was going to be the heart of the many. You'd find a jewel while I'd go off and find Salit and be back before anyone was the wiser. I suppose nothing ever goes like we plan, does it? Take care of yourself, Hawk. Maybe we'll meet again, sometime. Master Hawk, I must speak with you. You're the only one that can help. The Wardens mounted an expedition to retrace your route through the deep roads to discover whatever it is you found years ago. It's a fool's errand, and my poor brother is with them. Nathaniel Howe. Nathaniel? Well, put me in a dress and call me a Templar. How is the old boy doing? He's missing, Sarah. Haven't you been listening? I'm not worried about Nathaniel. He's crawled out of worse places alive. I take it you and Nathaniel have some history? Certainly. We were in the Wardens together in Amaranthine. Hordes of Darkspawn, psychotic brood mothers, usual Warden business. I wonder if Nathaniel ever found a sense of humor. Why were Wardens interested in our expedition? Maker, help me. I have no idea. My brother never tells me these things. Wardens range into the deep roads all the time. But he's been gone far too long. Something terrible has happened. I tell the Wardens, but by the time I reach Vigil's Keep, my poor brother... Do you know any other details? I know almost nothing. Nathaniel never speaks about the Wardens. It was only happenstance that I heard your name mentioned. Please, go back to the deep roads. Find my brother. You must. Nathaniel Howe. You're the champion of Kirkwall, aren't you? And... Anders! Making friends as always, I see. There's no escaping you, it seems. I'm special that way. That's one way to put it. 
Delilah says you followed my expedition's route. Why? You went further into the Deep Roads than anyone believed possible. The First Warden himself ordered this investigation. I was offered a generous share of the salvage, plus extra coin up front to discourage any... curiosity. I don't remember drawing anyone a map to the Tyg. Who told you about it? An unfortunate dwarf named Bartrand. We weren't sure his information was reliable, but contacting you or Varric was deemed risky. You trusted my turncoat of a brother, but thought talking to us was risky. That's idiotic. We feared you might return if you learned of our interest in the Taig. It looks like you met heavy resistance. After the Warden Commander killed the Architect, we thought it would be decades before the Deep Roads would be infested again. The Warden's allies assured us these tunnels would still be mostly clear. But it seems they were wrong. Who is the Architect? The Architect was the first of the speaking and thinking Darkspawn. Very dangerous. He spread his gift to other Darkspawn. The Disciples. Fortunately, their numbers are few. They seem to know a great deal about Darkspawn. Are these allies dwarves? No, not dwarves. It's complicated. Let's just say we live in strange times. We should bring your sister the good news. I cannot leave now. When we were attacked, I was separated from the rest of my expedition. Some of them may yet live. We must go deeper into the tunnels to rescue them. Who else could be alive? Some wardens survived the initial ambush. I think the dwarf we brought from Vigil's Keep survived. But who still lives? Only the Maker knows. We have survivors to find. Let's go. Protecting the foolish from themselves. We should move. Stay alert for Darkspawn. There it is. It doesn't look all that dwarven. These are Carter dwarves, so they're more criminals and smugglers than anything else. They're not usually stupid, though. I don't know why they'd attack you. They gave it their best shot. I can't believe they snuck into the Warden Keep at Ansberg. Don't feel left out. They've been trying to kill me for several days now. You have a plan, then? I found their hideout, but my sources couldn't tell me anything else. It's all very strange. Why do you say that? It's just the Carter, isn't it? As far as my contacts and the Carter know, they shouldn't be here. There shouldn't even be a here. Well, this place is invisible. A big blind spot on the map. Bianca's never been this suspicious, and she's twitchy to start with. Does it matter? We just need them to stop trying to kill us. A fine point. So, what's the plan? Oh, I'm sure this is all a misunderstanding. Later we'll all have tea and we'll laugh. Oh, your name is Hawk. I thought it was Locke. <laughs> I just don't like the idea they can get at you. It worries me. Let's move before we're spotted. The Wardens know I couldn't let you do this alone. Not after an attack on both of us. I'll watch so there's no surprises. Shout if you need me. Let's go. More deep roads. Why did we agree to do this again? Because I love trouble, and you think Hawk is cute. That wasn't a serious question, was it, Blondie? He is pretty cute. A key. Tuned to your father's blood. Sounds like a ritual element for blood magic. Be careful, Hawk. We drink the Darkspawn blood. He calls us. Why would you do that? Won't you just die? It's the only way to hear the music. Oh, come on, you nug licker. Snap out of it. There's no gold in hallucinating. Manners, Varric. Introduce me to your lunatic friend. Hawk, this is Garav. He's a greedy, brilliant bastard son of a nug from the Carter. Garav, this is Hawk, the one whose blood you want to drink or bathe in or whatever. But if you're after eternal youth, I've got to tell you, 
He's no virgin. What the... Ah! What is this? I can feel it inside me! That weapon draws on your blood, Hawk. There are dangerous magics here. This is going to take me to Corypheus. One good thing about being trapped in an ancient underground prison. Not a lot of Templars. You should set up shop. It's no worse than your current digs. Good point. I could be quite comfortable here, actually. Clean the taint off the floor. Maybe hang a few pictures. It might even be a step up from Darktown. A new base of operations for Kirkwall's Mage Underground. It's got potential. The key! Did they find it? The dwarves. I heard them. Looking. Digging. How do you bring the key here? You mean this? How is this a key? Magic. Old magic it is. Magic from the blood. It made the seals. It can destroy them. I came in here to find Corypheus. Do you know where or what he is? Do not say his name. He will hear you. Do not wake him. Not when you hold the key. Let me guess. You want to drink my blood too? Blood? The blood of the hawk? Are you the hawk? Yes. I smell magic on you. But you hold the key. The key to his death. Yes, I can show you out. Yes. Who are you? What's wrong with you? You ask me that? I am the one who belongs here, not you. You are no dark spawn. He's in Grey Warden armor. Maybe he used to be one. You hear it, no? Hear it calling. I smell it in you. I know the way out. Follow me. Down and in. Down and in. Because I always like to follow the advice of tainted, crazy people. Not crazy. No. Trust me. I know the prison's secrets. The seals hold us in. Anything comes in. Nothing ever leaves. Not without the key. You must use it, yes. On the seals. Every seal. You touch the key to it. Only then they open. Only for the hawk. Not back. Not up. Only way out is down. And through the heart. Down. Down. In the depths. Well, that made everything much clearer. I've tried to forget about this side of myself. Justice is... so strong. Sometimes the Warden seem insignificant. But seeing that poor bastard brings it all back. The Darkspawn taint. The call of the Archdemon. It's inside me. As much a part of me as justice. Ooh, baby. Tell me more. You should find someone else, love. You don't want all the ugliness I'm going to bring into your life. Nobody's perfect. I've got to hand it to you, Blondie. You'll make that work every time. The blood works. It is good. All this talk about my blood is a little creepy. Are you at least planning to tell me your name? Name? So long since I've said my name. I... I... Lorias. I was Lorias. There was a, a title too. Commander. Commander of the Grey. He was a warden. Poor wretch must have come down here on his calling. Yes. The calling. The songs get louder. Only death stops them. I am dead. 
But I never died. Anders, what are you talking about? Wardens aren't immune to the taint forever. In time, we start to hear voices. The same ones Darkspawn hear. That's when they send you into the Deep Roads. To die. If you're a Warden, then do you know what just happened? What does the seal have to do with my blood? The magic. It calls to the blood, reads the thoughts of those who hold it. The last to hold it. The Hawk. I... I was there when he laid the seals. Before... I became this. You favor him. Corypheus calls... in the darkness. What waits there? I'm not listening. I'm not listening! We have to do something. His episodes are getting worse. I've bought our freedom, Leandra. We can go home now. Us and the baby. We'll be together. I hope it takes after you, love. I would wish this magic on no one. May they never learn what I've done here. The baby? He's... He's talking about me. All those things he did, he did for us. For his family. It must be overwhelming to hear your father's voice again. How are you feeling? Mother should have been here. And Bethany. Carver. I should not have been the only one to hear his voice. Let's just move on. No! Get out of my head! Come on, Blondie. You're strong enough to overcome this. He is waking. The magic grows lax. He feels us walk where no step goes. Are you talking about Corypheus? He calls like an old god. He mimics their cry. Can the rest of you hear him? I figured it was just me. He calls them to free him. The dark children and the light. Any with taint in their blood. If Corypheus isn't an old god, what is he? Human? Demon? Darkspawn? More than Darkspawn. More than human. He thinks. He talks. He pierces the veil. An awakened Darkspawn. An emissary. When I was with the Wardens in Amaranthine, we met an emissary like that. Powerful. Persuasive. I didn't realize there were others. He wants what was once his. How could this Corypheus be sending people after me if he's asleep? He can call, dream, but not know. When the seals are gone, he will wake. And he must die. Why are you down here? How have you survived? The calling. The music. It is our death. The Wardens say once the corruption goes far enough, the Darkspawn can't sense you anymore. They think he's one of them. He'd be in no danger on that front. Yes. I lived. But... I died. The corruption feeds me. So many years in darkness. When you run off, where do you go? I know the darkness before the seals. Here, the voice is too strong. I cannot stay. Stop. Just make him stop talking. Make him stop. We can't have him fall apart here. It's not safe. Ah! What's wrong? I can't. The voices. Wardens. The joining. I have too much taint in my blood. I can't shut him out. Help me, love. I will not... Be controlled. I can't take you anywhere. Thank you, love. I... I guess they're right. You never can leave the Wardens. 
I hope I can hold against him. Against them both. Let's just try not to do that again. Bianca hates being turned on her friends. I know how to harness Corypheus. Use his magic to end the Blights. No! The Wardens knew. Corypheus is too powerful. Don't do it, Hawk. The Warden Commander killed the last of this sort. You can't make deals with the Darkspawn. Worth the risk. If he doesn't help, it's one more big Darkspawn to stick a bolt in. No big deal. If the Wardens locked this creature up, they did it for a reason. Corypheus calls her, and she listens. She brought him the Carter, sent them for you. Stroud wouldn't let me have your brother. I need you. Why would this Darkspawn want to end the Blight? He's no mindless monster. This search for the old gods comes at a terrible cost to his people. This sounds very familiar. He tricked you. These are not your thoughts. They are his calling. How many of them died in Ferelden alone? And that was the least of the Blights. How could you trust any deal this Darkspawn makes with you? Do not think me foolish, Hawk. I am making no deal. I have a spell which can control Corypheus. Bind him to my will. He will be a new, important weapon in the war on the Blights. No more, no less. Are you talking about using blood magic? Everything that was done to him was through the power of blood. The Wardens imprisoned Corypheus before the Chantry banned such magic. It is the only way to hold him. They never bound him. Only the walls. He cannot be held. Corypheus may be as great a threat as the next Blight. We can't risk freeing him. We'll find a way to do this with or without you, Hawk. This prison will be broken. The Blights will end. Come. With me! We will beat them to the seal! You're too late, Lorias. Hand over Hawk, and I'll give you a quick death. Hawk has made his choice. The right one. The right choice, or the only choice? Malcolm Hawk was not allowed to disagree. It is the past. It doesn't matter. Lorias? What does Janica mean by not allowed? How does she know this? Alec, did you tell her? Malcolm Hawk was reluctant. Had to be... persuaded. I was Warden Commander. It was my duty. I delivered an ultimatum. Help us, or you'll never see her again. You are going to kill my mother? No, never. He came with us. I never had to decide her fate. She was never told about what passed between Malcolm and me. You see, Hawk, how can you trust anything Lorias says? Lorias' threats were reprehensible, but he's still right about Corypheus. You can come willingly or not, Hawk. I just need your blood. He stirs. Slay him now before he wakes, before his strength comes. The key, it's not strong enough. Use your blood, free him and slay him. Some dream I wake from? Am I in dwarven lands? I see no roads, so empty. Yo, serve you at the Temple of Dumart? Bring me hence. I must speak with the first acolyte. Dumart? 
was the first old god to become an archdemon. There haven't been temples to him since ancient Avinta. You look human. Are you not citizens of the Empire? Slaves, then, to the dwarves. Why come you here? Whoever you be, you owe fealty to any Magister of Tevinta. On your knees. All of you. You're a dark spawn. Dark spawn, ravaging the deep road, spreading the blight. Does this ring a bell? You are what held me. I smell the blood in you. You mad? Lord, tell me, what waking dream is this? The light. We sought the golden light. You offered the power of the gods themselves. But it was black, corrupt, darkness ever since. How long? The Golden City. The first violation. The Magisters who brought the Blight. That's ridiculous. There were no magical boogeymen who trespassed in the Maker's City. It's a story. It's Chantry propaganda. Where do you think Darkspawn came from? Some creation of the old gods, no doubt. Dumat, have you forsaken me? I am your faithful servant. The Darkspawn aren't just some conveniently explicit lesson on the dangers of magic. Unless Corypheus is for real, everyone who knows what happened is long dead. You don't think it's a little convenient? What does every sane man and woman in Thedas fear? The Blights. Why not pin those on mages too? What manner of speech is this? How long have I slumbered? He tainted the world. He speaks to all who carry the corruption. Darkspawn wardens. He brought Janneke here. Brought you. If he's been calling the wardens to free him, what's his plan? He seems confused. He slept. While the seals held, he could not wake. He knows nothing of time that passed. We must kill him now, before he comes to. First he went after the Maker in his house, then me in mine. I'm honored. The city! It was supposed to be golden! It was supposed to be ours! If I cannot leave with you, I will leave through you! I seek the light! used that pattern since before the first blight. It was unique to a small sect in Devinta, who worshipped the god Dumat. Corypheus really was an ancient magister. I always thought the Black City was just a story. Maybe the Chantry's right about other things too. I, uh, I I'll need to study this further. You did well, Hawk. More than the Grey Wardens of old were able to accomplish. I will tell the Warden Commander of your service here. You think the Wardens will give you a warm welcome looking like that? I don't think we're supposed to come back from the calling. I must try. You've gained an ally today. Why are you talking like that? My head is clear now. Without Corypheus's call, I can think again. I thank you for my freedom. And here I thought I'd just gained a headache. I will never forget what you did here. 
The prison stands no more. My gratitude you have for my freedom. Are you real? You've got to get out of here before it comes back. Where's the idol? What idol? Don't waste my time with your lies. Tell me where it is. I didn't exactly want to stay for dinner, but I think we've got a few minutes to hear her out. She's hiding something, Hawk. Don't lie to me. I know it's here. You must have found it. I swear. I don't know anything about an idol. Please. Maker, no. It's starting again. of the idol. No, oh, I should have known Bartrand would lie to me. Of course he'd keep a piece of the statue for himself. Think of what we could do with this. I don't know about you, Varric, but I don't want to end up like Bartrand. I'm not my brother, Hawk. The idol drove him crazy, but this is just one tiny piece. I need this thing. Six years of my life have gone into this. And there we go again. This thing's magic seemed only more potent when broken. The Shard is my only hope of curing Bartrand. It's my only chance to set any of this right. Varric, if you keep that thing, you'll go mad, I'll have to kill you, and Bianca will be heartbroken. You're not listening, Hawk. I know I can handle this Shard. Acting crazy is not a compelling argument in favor of keeping that accursed thing. Fine. I don't really want to argue about this anyway. Take it. It's your problem now. Maybe Enchantment Boy can dispose of the thing for you. That was the right decision, Hawk. You've saved him great pain. Let's go. I think I could use some air. I'm going to be trying something, and I thought you'd want to be part of it. We've both been wrong. What I did with Justice was unnatural. It should never have happened. Is there some way to undo it? I've spent the past three years researching the methods of Tevinter Magisters. They're the only ones who have ever sought to reverse spirit possession, not just behead the victims. I believe I have a formula for a potion that can separate Justice and me, without killing either. Is it dangerous? There are always dangers with magic. But I believe this will be worth the cost. That was going to be my next question. I knew you'd stand behind me in this. Even if... What? Nothing. I've gathered most of what I need, but there are some outlandish ingredients I was hoping you'd help me collect. A powder the Tevinters call Celepetre, and a small amount of Drakestone. What is Drakestone? The Tevinters used to mine it for their apothecaries. There should still be deposits in the bone pit. Where would we find Celepetre? It's a crystal that forms from concentrated manure and urine. Ew. We can't just buy it somewhere. It's not used by mages here. There's no reason for any merchant to stock it. I suggest we search the sewers. There's an entrance not far from here in Darktown. Is it just a potion? Is there anything more to this ritual? No, no ritual. Just mix the ingredients up and... Boom. Justice and I are free. And we can take our rightful place among free mages. We're not looking for virgin's blood or the tongue of a hanged man or anything, are we? Well... You know Tevinters. They can't throw a Winter Sen party without a human sacrifice or two. But I promise, everything in my research says there's no blood magic involved. We can enter the sewers from here to look for the Cellar Petre. Are you ready? Let's go. Hold your nose. We'll have to get pretty close for me to tell what we're looking at. Are you ready to go in? Ready as I'll ever be. We'll have to look for Drakestone deposits along the sides. There is one more thing I need of you, my love. And I can't tell you why. I must get inside the Chantry, without being seen. Will you talk to the Grand Cleric for me? Distract her long enough for me to do what must be done. Tell me your plan. You would not thank me if I told you. If you support freedom for mages, help me. That's all I can say. What do you want me to talk about? Food? The weather? What does it matter? 
No, talk of mages. Give her one final chance to hear what we have suffered. To pick a side. Perhaps she'll be more inclined to listen to you. What is it you don't want me to see? Do you believe in me, love? Do you believe mages deserve to live free of the Templar's grasp? Then trust me now. I am doing only what is necessary. Was this ever about you and justice? Or have you lied this whole time? I lied. There is no potion. But what we have gathered will bring freedom for more than just me and justice. It will help mages throughout Fadus. In the face of that, one lie means little. I do trust you. I do not deserve your love. I promise, whatever happens, it's on my head. It will not come back on you. Go to the Chantry. Talk to the Grand Cleric. I will join you when I'm done. I'll find you as soon as I'm done. Thank you. Maker's Blessing, Champion. Have you come to pray? So, hypothetically, if there were a group of people being brutally subjugated by another, wouldn't the Maker favor the oppressed? You speak of mages. It's no secret that you count apostates among your friends, Champion. You have done much to fan the flames of rebellion here. We must give Meredith and Orsino time to work out their differences. No good can come of showing favor to one side. Couldn't you solve this problem if you just spoke out? How would that help? Both sides make good points. Both have flaws. For a thousand years, the Chantry has had to find the balance between them. That hasn't changed here. I guess that means you're not ready to disband the Templars and set every mage free. I feel for the mages, I do. I would not wish to be locked in the gallows. But I cannot take sides. We are all the Maker's creatures, but magic allows abuses beyond the scope of mortals. I only hope I can balance the needs of everyone. For if it comes to war, it is the people of this city who will lose. There you are. I've been looking for you all over. Your Grace? Your soul is troubled, child. I hope you found a balm for it here. I wanted you to have this. What's that? A pillow? Hand embroidered by my mother. The only thing of hers they let me keep when I went to the Circle. Why in the name of Andraste would you give that to me? You've been a good friend, Varric. Uh-uh. You keep your pillow, Blondie. And may you have many more dreams of killing Templars on it. Hawk. I didn't expect you here. I want to tell you now. I love you. You've stood by me when I gave you every reason to turn away. Just remember, whatever happens, I wanted you to know that. Why are you talking like this? He'll still be here, you know. Justice. Long after you and I are gone. It doesn't mean the same thing to a spirit. He'll just go back to the Fade. I love you, Anders. You were the most important thing in my life. But some things matter more than my life. More than either of us. I'm sorry. If you were curious, that's not the best way to get me in the mood. I told you I would break your heart. Just know it breaks mine to do it. I was hoping we'd find a better way, but... Justice and vengeance are too intertwined. I can't tell one from the other. You were the one shining light in my life. Never blame yourself for what will happen. Starkhaven needs me, but I will not leave Elthina to the mercy of those apostates. We must put down their rebellion and solidify the Chantry's hold. Then I can return to Starkhaven with a clean conscience. Focus on Starkhaven. Your enemies are there, not here. I know you have sympathy for the rebels, but surely you must see they can't win. Frankly, both sides are despicable. I wouldn't leave her grace at the mercy of either. But it will be over soon, one way or the other. I know you and Anders are... Well, it's not my place to question, but please, be careful. He's a dangerous man, and selfish. Whatever he promised, don't think he'll ever put you above his own needs.
I will have the tower searched, top to bottom. You cannot do that. You have no right. I have every right. You are harboring blood mages, and I intend to root them out before they infect this city. Blood magic? Where do you not see blood magic? My people cannot sneeze without you accusing them of corruption. Do not trifle with me, mage. My patience is at an end. A wonder that I never saw it begin. This needs to stop. This does not involve you, champion. I called him here. I think the people deserve to know just what you've done. What I have done is protect the people of this city time and again. What I have done is protect you mages from your curse and your own stupidity. And I will not stop doing it. I will not lower our guard. I dare not. Does the word crazy mean anything to you? What other option do we have? Tell me, champion, that you have not seen with your own eyes what they can do. Heard the lies of mages that seek power. They're not the only ones that lie and seek power. You would cast us all as villains, but it is not so. I know, and it breaks my heart to do it. But we must be vigilant. If you cannot tell me another way, do not brand me a tyrant. This is getting us nowhere. Grand Cleric Athena will put a stop to this. You will not bring her grace into this. The Grand Cleric cannot help you. Explain yourself, mage. I will not stand by and watch you treat all mages like criminals. While those who would lead us bow to their Templar jailers. How dare you speak to the me? The circle has failed us, Orsino. Even you should be able to see that. The time has come to act. There can be no half measures. Anders, what have you done? There can be no turning back. Be no peace. Elfina, no! Make her, no! She was your most faithful, your most beloved. Why didn't she listen to me? Blessed be the souls of the faithful that they ascend to your right hand. Why? Why would you do such a thing? I removed the chance of compromise, because there is no compromise. The Grand Cleric has been slain by magic. The Chantry destroyed. As Knight Commander of Kirkwall, I hereby invoke the right of annulment. Every mage in the Circle is to be executed. Immediately! The Circle didn't even do this! Champion, you can't let her help us stop this madness! And I call on you to keep order. After what just occurred, you cannot deny what must be done. Why are we debating the right of annulment when the monster who did this is right here? I swear to you, I will kill him. It can't be stopped now. You have to choose. Was that why you needed me to distract the Grand Cleric? You... were... part of this? If you knew what I was doing, you would have felt honor bound to stop me. I couldn't take that chance. The Circle is an injustice. In many places beyond Kirkwall. The world needs to see. Elthina is not the Circle. She was a good woman, and you murdered her! You fool! You've doomed us all! We were already doomed. A quick death now, or a slow one later. I'd rather die fighting. You may have turned everyone against the mages now. Was anyone ever with us? It doesn't matter. Even if I wished to, I could not stay my hand. The people will demand blood. This won't be easy, but I'll defend you. But what of Anders? 
Hawk, if you do this, I don't know if I can follow. The mages here would become magisters if they could. Do not let them. You sure about this? Even you might not win this fight. I know we can do this. I believe in you, Hawk. Standing up for the downtrodden, protecting the innocent, shoving a sharpened spike up the tyrants... behind. What are we waiting for? Think carefully, champion. Stand with them and you share their fate. I can live with that. Thank the Maker. It is a mistake, but I won't abandon you. I see what you are trying to do, and my place... is with you. You are a fool, champion. Kill them all! I will rouse the rest of the Order! Go! Get to the gallows before it's too late! So it's come to this. I don't know if we can win this war, champion, but... Thank you. I will leave your... friend for you to deal with. I must return to the gallows. Meet me there as soon as you can. There's nothing you can say that I haven't already said to myself. I took a spirit into my soul and changed myself forever to achieve this. This is the justice all mages have awaited. Did that spirit tell you to do this? No. When we merged, he ceased to be. We are one now. I can no more ignore the injustice of the Circle than he could. I might have understood if you'd only told me. You condone this. The brutal death of an innocent woman of faith, someone you knew, who trusted you. I wanted to tell you, but what if you stopped me? Or worse, what if you wanted to help? I couldn't let you do that. The world needs to see this. Then we can all stop pretending the circle is a solution. And if I pay for that with my life, then I pay. Perhaps then justice would at least be free. Help me defend the mages. You mean... stay with you? I didn't think you'd let me. But if you do, I'll fight the Templars. Damned right I will. No! You cannot let this abomination walk free. He dies, or I am returning to Starkhaven. And I will bring such an army with me on my return, that there'll be nothing left of Kirkwall for these Maleficarum to rule. Do not interfere, Sebastian. You're the one who taught me that it is the ends that matter, not the steps you take to get there. I swear to you, I will come back and find your precious Anders. I will teach him what true justice is. Thank you for my life. I'll try not to make such a mess of it this time. How invigorating. We'd all best get to the gallows. And quick. It's going to be quite a show. Quickly! Quickly! First Enchanter! Champion! You've survived! Thank the Maker! We must- And here you are! Let us speak, Meredith! Before this battle destroys the city you claim to protect! I will entertain a surrender. Nothing more. Speak if you have something to say. Revoke the right of annulment, Meredith, before this goes too far. Imprison us if you must. Search the tower. I will even help you. But do not kill us all for an act we did not commit. The Grand Cleric is dead, killed by a mage. 
The people will demand retribution, and I will give it to them. Your offer is commendable, Orsino, but it comes too late. I was kind of hoping for a happy ending. I doubt we'll be seeing that. I'm disappointed in you, champion. So be it. You will share the Circle's fate. So what is it to be, Meredith? Do we fight here? Go. Prepare your people. The rest of the Order is already crossing the harbor. This isn't over. I should have trusted you. Even with all we've shared, I never thought you'd spare my life. If we live through this, you know I'll be hunted. No one in Kirkwall will offer me mercy. But if you would join me, I'd rather be on the run with you than safe with anyone else. Then we will be fugitives together. We can build a world where no one ever dies for being how the Maker created them. Ten years, a hundred years from now, Someone like me will love someone like you, and there will be no Templars to tear them apart. May the Maker bring us victory, or everything else is meaningless. I will always love you. And here we are, Champion, at long last. I imagine you've wanted to be rid of me for some time. I bear you no ill will. You've done this to yourself. You were never part of this circle, and I tolerated that. But in defending them, you've chosen to share their fate. Knight Commander, I thought we intended to arrest the Champion. You will do as I command, Cullen. No. I defended you when Thrask started whispering you were mad. But this is too far. I will not allow insubordination. We must stay true to our path. You recognize it, do you not? Your lyrium, taken from the deep roads. The dwarf charged a great deal for his prize. The idol poisoned Bartrand's mind in the end. He was weak, whereas I am not. All of you, I want him dead! Enough! This is not what the Order stands for. Knight Commander, step down. I relieve you of your command. My own Knight Captain falls prey to the influence of blood magic. You all have. You're all weak. Allowing the mages to control your minds. To turn you against me. But I don't need any of you. I will protect this city myself. You'll have to go through me. Idiot boy. Just like all the others. She's clearly lost her mind. Blessed are those who stand before the corrupt and the wicked. And do not falter! Your servant begs you for the strength to defeat this evil!
of the slaughter spread quickly. The champion's name became a rallying cry, a reminder that the mighty Templars could be defied. He had defended the mages against a brutal injustice, and many lived to tell the tale. The circles rose up and set the world on fire. More Templars arrived at Kirkwall to restore order, but we were already long gone. We vanished into the hills, and circumstance eventually forced us all to leave the champion's side. Well, all of us except for Anders. You still hear the stories, of course. With each telling they grow, even if at the core remains the truth. The new legend had 